Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020 for the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. So um, if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you'd like to get your hands on our full technical analysis uh, daily, you're welcome to head over to Patreon. You'll also get access to our signal service and also our live streams if you uh, would want that. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And I must say this was an absolutely awesome day for um, investing in tech, um, but indices overall as well. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500 and you can see we have broken through these uh, previous highs. At this point, we are trading at 3,674 and there is probably a lot of room to the upside. We'll probably run into um, resistance at the 3,700, then we'll basically have a little bit of pullback. We are getting to the overbought um, area, so a pullback is expected towards the 20 exponential, and then we'll head higher. We will not go lower than the 20 exponential at this stage. Um, I can see that uh, December month is going to be a really good month for the indices and probably especially the tech stocks because people will have to buy at home and also look at, well, videos and entertainment at home. So that will just benefit tech stocks um, overall in December. So pullbacks are definitely uh, buying opportunities. I have absolutely no interest of basically shorting this uh, whatsoever at this stage. So technical leaders are still looking uh, very, uh, very bullish at this point. We have some room to the upside in here in the Bollinger Bands. Um, so we'll probably see a move towards 3,700 before we have a little bit of a pullback. So let's look at the Dow Jones. And as you can see, we have tested these previous highs of 30,116 and then pull back a little bit. Um, I do believe that we are going to break through sooner or later. We have been in this really tight range now for nearly uh, two and a half weeks. Um, but there's a lot of room to the upside. The RSI is only at 57 and these technical indicators are, well, uh, stochastic is flat and the CCI is flat. But the MACD is still bullish. We're still above the signal line. So we could see a move above this line sooner or later. We'll uh, see what basically happens. I have no interest in basically uh, shorting this. If we fall towards the 20 exponential moving average around uh, 29,274, then that is a huge buying opportunity. I don't believe that we'll go lower than that. Um, no, we'll not go lower than that. So pullbacks are definitely buying opportunities at this stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ had a huge day today. We are trading at 12,494 at this current, uh, at this moment, and we have broken the previous highs here. We are going, probably going to see a pullback at this stage. So we are at 81 in the, in the RSI. That is fairly significantly over uh, bought at this stage. So a pullback towards these uh, previous highs or towards 12,300 is fairly expected, but pullbacks at this stage are buying opportunities. There's no reason for anybody to be shorting this at this stage. So the closest, well, closer that we get to the 20 exponential, um, the better basically your trade is going to be if you or your buying opportunity is going to be. So we are overstretched at this point. We are above the Bollinger Band. So we are going to expect a pullback in the NASDAQ. And um, that is just fine. That's just given a, another turn to basically buy this at a, a lower price level. So let's look at the at Netflix. And so all of these tech stocks did really well today. Uh, Facebook, for example, is up 4%. Apple was up 3.3.5%. Netflix up 3.36, and yes, this is going to be an awesome month for tech. As you can see, Netflix, we have broken the 50 moving average. We are trading at 506 at, the, at this stage. The technical indicators for 
uh, the, for Netflix uh, stock are still uh, very bullish. So we are going to see the stock going higher. I think that we'll run into major resistance here, 519. That is probably where we'll have a pullback towards the 50 moving average, and then you basically can buy it again. So no interest in basically shorting this. Every pullback at this stage is a buying opportunity. So look at uh, Microsoft. Microsoft has also uh, rallied significantly today. We're trading at 216, and that is just going to increase. All technical indicators are very bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. So we'll probably run into some resistance around this area here. That is around 220. If that breaks, which is uh, very likely, we'll go and test this area as 225 before going to these all time highs up here at 232. So every pullback here is also a buying opportunity at this stage. So Apple. Apple has done an amazing run all the way from the 100 moving average to uh, the stage where we're at now. That is at 123. That is around 9.3%. Uh, but at this stage, I think that we are going to see a small pullback in Apple stock towards the uh, 20 exponential here around, that's around 118. It's going to pull back before uh, going higher. And uh, the reason why I say that is because if you look on the four hour chart, you can see that it's going to run into quite a lot of resistance. And that just means that it's going to have a pullback. So at this stage, also pullbacks towards the 50 or the 20 are buying opportunities. So the closer you get to uh, 118, 119, the, the cheaper technically this gets. I don't think that we're going to see a pullback towards the 100 moving average anytime soon. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon has broken through the 50 moving average and these highs, and now we're heading towards 3,376. If that breaks, then we're going to 3,502 and then to the all-time highs of 300, 550. That is most likely going to be uh, our target for the end of December uh, or just before Christmas. It is going to go all the way up to this level. But at this point, you can expect a pullback because we are at 75 at this stage. Um, the stochastic is basically turning around. So we could see a little bit of pullback towards the 50 and then rally again to the highs here. No interest in buying, uh, selling this. This is a buy all the way. So we look at Tesla. Tesla pulled back significantly yesterday and then rallied again today. Um, I was hoping for another basically um, decline today because that would make much more sense. Um, to trade Tesla or buy it at, um, at this point is just too risky. It's just technically stupid to buy it here. We're at 85 in the RSI. It is significantly overbought. It needs to pull back towards the 20 exponential at least at uh, to $500 uh, dollars a share or these previous highs here, which is around $501 a share uh, before technically entering this for a buy. At this stage, I'm not interested in, interesting in short, shorting this because as you can see, it just rally doesn't really care about RSI. And then you get these massive falls like this. So yes, it would be better if we just continue this fall towards the 20, but we didn't see that. So a pullback towards the 20, that is a buying opportunity. Otherwise, just stay away from this. So if you look at Facebook, Facebook has been had a massive day today. We're up 4.2% in Facebook, and we are going to find major resistance here at $297 a share. There's a lot of room to the upside. I'm pretty sure that we are going to rally even more today. Um, but at the end of the end of the month, at least, I'm thinking that we are going to you know, basically crush this $300, um, uh, $300 level here and we'll take off to the upside. So the thing is with all of these tech stocks is that they are benefiting that people cannot go outside and buy gifts. People are basically sitting at home buying their Christmas presents and so on and, uh, and things are just getting delivered by mail again through Amazon and so on. So that's the reason why the tech stocks are most likely going to do really, really well in December and then probably fall in January. So 
or after Christmas when everything is technically over. So this is going to be a, um, a fairly big bull run for December uh, for most of the tech stocks, uh, the Nasdaq and so on. So, well, that's just good because you can make a lot of money with this. So let's look at Google. And as you can see, Google has rallied again. We have broken these previous highs. We are trading at 18,014 at this point. And uh, we have a lot of room to the upside. We're at 60, uh, 63 at this point. Technical indicators are looking very bullish. We are at the top of the Bollinger Band, so we could pull back towards the 20 exponential. That's at 1743. Uh, and that, of course, is also these previous highs here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button, and uh, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.